you know? Yeah, How uh, prevalent were drugs? Uh, did you hear people talking about steroids and stuff like that when you were going to the gym when you were young? Or So when I was, so this is the thing with me. I educated myself on drugs oddly young, so I was pretty educated to, to a certain extent, all right? Um, but was it as prevalent? Uh, yes and no. Like the gym I was telling you about, you'd actually see syringes in the bathroom, mm. all right? Mm, damn. And then like, as it was it like maybe the mid-90s, I started going to a more commercial gold gym that had the fitness bunnies and the huge guys with the fanny packs and whatever, <laughs> right? I'm sorry, I'm bringing back old school shit. I love it. Bringing back stuff out of my head. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there was more like, See, back then, yeah, and there was the drugs. And, like, back then, though, the look was to be as big as big and scary as you could be. There was 300-pound guys who, like, lived around the block from you. Mm. The look changed today, which, honestly, for health reason, and it is a better look, like the classic physique, like Chris Bumstead looks ridiculous. Yeah. He looks Sergey Constance. It looked great in clothes. Mm -hmm. You want the look where a girl's like, I want to take him down, and the guy's like, I want to look like him. That's a good look. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's the look. But anyway, as in terms of health reasons, I'm getting, it's a healthier shift mm -hmm. today. Even though I make fun of the little Ken doll in the corner, <laughs> it's overall, it is a better, you know, because you can't live like that. You know, eating Anadrol 50s and pumping my grandma testing your body, you're not going to live a long life like that. And I talk about cardiomyopathy a little bit. That mm -hmm. shit happens. That shit's real. People don't know that. You know, that's the also the thing. These young kids, they're not educated with drugs. They start mm -hmm. jamming this shit in their body, trying to, like, do you even know the health ramifications of what this shit does, bro? Lipid profile, like what's a lipid profile? I'm like, what? Yeah, you gotta learn this shit. What can it do to your heart? Do you know? Steroid abuse or steroid use? Yeah, steroid or yeah, either one. Okay, <clears throat> so there's two different things, right? We could abuse anything in this world. Mm. Right? If you ate, I like to use this analogy. What analogy am I gonna pick? I have a whole plethora of them. All right, let's use the <laughs> cheeseburger one. Okay. If you mm. ate one McDonald's, oh, I love cheeseburger. My favorite. If you ate one <laughs> cheeseburger, right, a mm. week, a McDonald's burger, which is fucking terrible for you, you live forever. If you wait two a day, you're going to fuck yourself up. Most like, right? Steroids are the same thing. You could use, and what gives them the bad stigmatism is the abuse of it. Professional bodybuilders, right? You get a guy five foot five walking around 300 pounds. That shit's no good. You're pumping your body more than it you know, could handle. The use of it, if you cycle on and off, <laughs> you could live a long time and be pretty healthy. It's scientifically proven mm -hmm. testosterone when it drops down in your older age is detrimental in so many ram in so many aspects other than muscle mass loss, depression, which is a huge fact that people don't even take into account. You can reverse all these things with just a small amount of optimal dosage of testosterone, not super physiological dosage. Mm -hmm. What about um, <clears throat> Power Project family? We talked to you about Maltape before, and it's time to get better quality sleep, stop snoring, and wake up better rested. Andrew, how can they get their hands on some hostage tape? You guys got to head over to hostagetape.com slash power project. You'll receive free shipping plus a free incredible awesome bedside tin. Again, hostagetape.com slash power project. Links to them down in the description as well as yes, podcast daddy. show notes. Oh, Whoa. God. Yes, daddy. Whoa. Look at this. <laughs> Magic. I thought something was wrong with the audio, but you just have mouth tape on. <laughs> it's called being a ventriloquist. There you go. You know, when people come off of this stuff, I don't think it's talked about enough, you know? Um, <clears throat> we see all these TRT clinics popping up, and I would imagine for as many people that get on it and get excited and try it, there's probably a lot of people who are like, ah, I don't want to dig, you know, jab myself with this needle, and I'm just going to stop doing this. And then they just discontinue the usage, but then... They probably don't are unaware of like a protocol uh, okay. of how to kind of come off it. So we spoke about this before. So testosterone now has been, the eyes have been opened a little more of the health benefits of it to the most part, okay? Now, one of my clients, newer client, came to me, you know, DM me, wanted me to help him train, whatever. And he came to me. Usually some people come to me when they're, they're all fucked up. I'm like, that's easy. I give them a top surface shit and they're good. Him, I had to pump down a couple of gears. I'm like, this guy came in shape. He was knowledgeable. He trained. And he was kind of jacked. Mm -hmm. Bang, I got to pull it down to like real deep knowledge. So I figured out a solution for his problem. Food, diet, whatever it was, right? I changed it a little bit. A little more than a little bit. Then I get to actually a question that was very top surface. I go, how old are you? He's like, I'm 40-something years old. I'm like, you should go get blood work. You know? He's like, I actually know about testosterone. Whatever. He's like, oh, yeah, actually, you know, a doctor prescribed me testosterone. I'm like, and how do You're you like, feel? like, that's where we should have fucking started. The right. And I'm like, well, how do you, how do you feel? He's like, actually, I stopped. I was like, okay. And you, you took a, you know, clomiphene citrate. He put you on, right? He's like, no, he just had me stop. I'm like, hold on a second. Wait a minute. This is, I've heard this before. This is a medical practitioner 
prescribing testosterone to someone who has such lack of education to not know to give you something to kickstart your endocrine system. That should not happen. Mm -hmm. They should be more educated. If they have the ability to prescribe something like that, they should know the, the ramifications on the downside of what could happen if you do not prescribe someone or help somebody rebuild their body. Yeah. Do you agree with me? Yes. I think also too, you, you're going to have to probably warn somebody, you know, like if, if somebody was taking testosterone for a few weeks and they took it long enough to notice some of the benefits and maybe they were feeling a little bit better or feeling a little bit stronger, but they still just kind of said the hell with it just because they, they just didn't want to do it anymore. Uh, maybe they did have some negative feedback from the amount they were taking, or they literally just hated taking the shots and didn't want to do it anymore. You have to warn that person that your mood might change a lot. You might be irritable. You might be depressed. And <clears throat> what if it's a person that already has depression? Or what if it's a person that already okay. has some anxiety, right? So it's so a very good question. So how we could go around <clears throat> this, right? So other than taking exo ex exogenous outside source testosterone, there are different pathways where people raise their testosterone using a synthetic driver to cause a natural response. So let's look at how testosterone is made. Screw from the HCG, uh, luteinizing hormone tells the lady cells make testosterone. So instead of shooting outside source testosterone, TRT clinics are recognized this from what I've read. They use HCG to cause, it's an artificial signal to cause a natural response. So you're elevating your testosterone through a natural pathway. Even though it's driven by mm. a synthetic driver, it's a natural end result. Not as aggressive as you'd get the anger and the rage and all the side effects. So now another thing, let's take nanograms per deciliter in a and human And currently being. you're talking about HCG. Well, HCG <coughs> is a synthetic driver yeah. to tell your Leydig cells to make testosterone. Okay. Okay, so what now they're doing, instead, not everybody wants to rub a cream or this this pellet, whatever they take now or whatever, mm -hmm. might be a little bit too androgenic. So everyone has a different uh, genetic response to low or high doses. So I could name, think of people right now, somebody I know was taking 150 milligrams, the guy wanted to run through a wall, it's too much for him. So what would be good for him maybe is doing something like HCG. It's a synthetic, it's a synthetic driver to cause a natural response through your data cells. You follow me? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that, that's my suggestion mm -hmm. for something like that. Hey guys, if you like this clip, go ahead and comment down below and let us know what you liked about it. All right. Share this with a friend. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also, we are on Reddit and Discord. All that's down below. All our sponsors and everyone that supports us, down below there too, so you can get whatever you like from us. All right. Peace.